Imagine this. It's a humid evening in Kazan City, the kind where jeepneys rumble past street food stalls sizzling with seasig and I saw, and a frustrated college student named Anna slumps over her laptop, typing a frantic message in her natural flow. Ano ba to? Bakit ang hirap mag-explain ng thesis ko sa prof? Help naman, chat GPT. Paano ko sasabihin na the impact ng climate change sa Pinoy farmers ay parang typhoon na laging umaulan ng problema? She hits enter, half expecting a blank stare or a stiff English reply that misses the point entirely. But instead, the screen lights up with a response that's spot on. Uy, Ana, gets ko yung struggle mo. Para sa thesis, try mo i-frame it this way. Yung climate change, parang siya yung ultimate plot twist sa buhay ng farmers. Bigla na lang dumadating yung bagyo na nagdadala ng tagtuyot at baha tapos, wala pa silang plot armor na insurance o tech. Pwede kang mag-site ng studies from ERRI sa rice yields at ilink mo sa bayanihan spirit para may Pinoy touch. Ano ano, game ka pa bang i-revise natin yung outline? Anna's jaw drops. This isn't just help. It's a conversation with a friend who gets the taglish rhythm, the cultural nods, the way Filipinos weave worries with wit. Skeptics had long scoffed that AI, like ChatGPT, was a Western toy, blind to the melodic mix of Filipino English. That sunny, syllable-singing dialect born from American classrooms and island resilience, full of pose for politeness and bahalanas for whatever comes next. But in that moment, Anna sees the truth. ChatGPT didn't just understand. It vibed, proving naysayers wrong and sparking a revolution where tech finally speaks like home. And by this story's end, you'll be itching to fire up your own prompt in pure Pinoy patois, wondering what secrets your own hirap heart could unlock with an AI that finally listens like a tita over Halo Halo. The doubt ran deep. Seeded in the early days of AI, when chatbots stumbled like tourists lost in Divisoria. Back in 2022, as ChatGPT burst onto the scene like a viral TikTok dance, linguists and locals alike shook their heads at its English-heavy training data. 90% scraped from Western webs, leaving low-resource tongues like Tagalog in the dust. Filipino English or Philippine English, as the eggheads call it, isn't just accents. It's a living mashup, code switching between crisp American vowels and Tagalog's trilled R's, where comfort room means bathroom and batchmates are your college crew. Critics, from Reddit rants to academic papers, blasted it as unintelligible for machines. How can silicon brains grasp the sarcasm in Galing Mo Naman, when it could mean praise or shade. A 2023 Phil Bench benchmark tested 27 models on Tagalog and Cebuano texts, and even top dogs like GPT-40 barely scraped 72% on reading comprehension, flunking cultural quizzes on everything from adobo etiquette to jeepney jams. In X threads, Filipinos vented Tinignan ko yung chat GPT, sinabi ko, paano magluto ng sinigang? Tapos sagot niya sa pure English na walang tamis. A hilarious mismatch that fueled memes of bots serving bland replies like overcooked rice. Tech bros abroad chuckled too, dubbing it the accent apocalypse, arguing neural nets trained on Oxford clips couldn't decode the rhotic roles or vowel harmonies that make Pinoy speech sing like OPM ballads. For OFW's wiring remittances from Dubai desks or nurses in New York ICUs, this gap stung. Their daily dialect, honed in bilingual banter, reduced to garbled guesses by Siri or Alexa, who mangled CR as sea hour and Kuya as some exotic fruit. Even OpenAI's early demos skipped the archipelago, prioritizing Mandarin over Manila, 
leaving 110 million speakers feeling like digital footnotes. But whispers of change hummed in the background. From DOST Labs in Kazan, tinkering with Itanong, a homegrown chat GPT rival dreamed up in 2017, now set for 2025 liftoff to handle taglish queries on everything from fill health claims to evacuation spots during Habagat downpours. Skeptics dismissed it as a pipe dream, but chat GPT? It was quietly evolving, gobbling updates like a kid at a lechon feast. Enter GPT-4 in March 2023, a beast beefed up on diverse datasets, including scraps from Filipino forums and YouTube vlogs, where vloggers like Will Dasovich spill life hacks in effortless taglish. Suddenly, tests flipped. Reddit's R Tagalog lit up with posts like ChatGPT nailed my Ilongo story prompt from Boracay beaches to Bicol Spice. Users shared screenshots of bots crafting parables in Talinhaga style, those folksy Filipino fables with morals sharper than a balisong, or debating RH bill tweaks with local lingo like pro-life ba o pro-choice pa rin ba sa panahon ng fake news. By mid-2024, a Tomedes deep dive showed chat GPT debating Philippine politics in fluid Filipino, though it tripped on bold terms like bicameral without full swaps, close enough to spark cheers, not jeers. The real magic. Contextual smarts that caught the po'o politeness particle, turning robotic retorts into respectful riffs. Salamat po sa pagtulong. Instead of curt, thanks, X exploded with viral winds. A Cebuano teacher prompting, I explain ang quantum physics gamit ang lechon, and getting back, parang lechon yan. Yung layers ng laman at balat ay superposition, observable lang kapag hiniwa mo na. 10K likes, captioned, AI na Pinoy na rin. Not flawless, sure. Early glitches spat Tagalog for Heligainen requests, earning apologetic fixes like sorry, huh? Next time susubukan ko ulit. But that humility? Pure Pinoy mirroring the bahala na bounce that turns fails into funny family tales. As 2025 dawned, Filipinos topped global chat GPT rankings per a Philstar survey with 70% daily users from Manila Millennials to Mindanao Moms querying recipes paano maghalo ng kalamansi sa coffee or rants. Bakit ang traffic sa EDSA parang forever? In classrooms, teachers like those in Ateneo swapped lectures for AI duets, prompting bots to role-play Rizal debates in Taglish. Noli me tangere baye revolutionary Oh, just shade sa friars. Kids giggled at the bot's witty, parang modern telenovela, full of twists at forbidden love. Boosting engagement 40% per DepEd pilots. OFWs beamed too. A Riyadh nurse typed, Miss Kona yung tahong sa Pampanga, ano alternative dito? And got, try mussels from the souk, isote with garlic and calamansi packets from Naya. Parang home na complete with emoji lumpia. But the doubters? They weren't silenced overnight. A 2024 RxEV paper via Phil Bench hammered home gaps, with models tanking on dialect dialects like Waré or cultural Easter eggs like Why is Lodi, idle backwards, the ultimate compliment? X-trolls piled on. ChatGPT thinks awit means sing, not fail. Bots more lost than me in SM Megamall. Yet, each flub fueled fixes. OpenAI crowdsourced Pinoy feedback via forums, iterating like a barrio basketball scrimmage. Pass, shoot, adjust. By October 2025, GPT 4.5's rollout crushed benchmarks, hitting 85% on taglish tasks. Weaving in slang like Werpa Cheers or Chica Gossip with eerie accuracy. Custom GPTs bloomed too. Pinoy GPT for Tagalog tutors, dishing cultural deep dives 
Ano ang ibig sabihin ng dugo sa family feuds? Or Taglish translators fixing essays with i-rephrase mo yung abstract para desounding too formal. Entrepreneurs jumped in. A Manila startup built Chat Lechon, an AI chef riffing recipes in Cebuano-English hybrids, while DOST's Itanong teased beta tests, pulling gov data for Ano po ang SSS Benefits Co. in seamless Spanglish. The shift rippled wider. In BPO hubs like Clark, agents used it for script tweaks, turning How May I Assist into Kumusta po? Ano po bang help ko sa inyo? With accent-aware voice modes mimicking that warm, wavy lilt. Students aced orals by practicing with bots that fed back Your thumb in the Sounds like da Try tongue tap Parang lollipop Via Eleven Labs voices Tuned to Manila twang Even artists thrived. A Davao poet prompted haiku about Manila traffic in Tagalog, yielding Tropic Sa Edsa, Jeep Humihinto Mundo, Nagihintay Parin, shared on TikTok, racking millions, proving AI as muse, not monster. Challenges lingered, of course. Data privacy jitters in a nation where leaks hit headlines like typhoons or biases creeping in like over-anglicizing Visayan prompts. A 2025 Rappler probe flagged how minority dialects like Achaeanon got short shrift, sparking calls for inclusive datasets from Cordillera coders. But the tide turned triumphant. By mid-year, a UNESCO nod hailed Philippine English as a bridge dialect for global AI, with ChatGPT powering apps like Baha'i Tutor for rural kids Explaining algebra via Parang budget sa sari-sari store, add mo yung gastos. X lit up with hashtag chat GPT Pinoy wins. A Beagle vloggers react to my EEI roast vid, where the bot quipped, your dance moves? Parang silly, spicy, but short, went mega 5M views. For Anna, now a grad slinging climate talks at COP30, that first prompt was the spark. Her thesis soared, landing TEDx invites where she demoed AI chats in live Taglish, crowd roaring as the bot nailed a punchline about El Nino being Jung X na paulit ulit bumabalik. The couldn't understand chorus faded to footnotes, drowned by the hum of hybrid harmony. In a world where tech once tokenized tongues, ChatGPT proved ally, amplifying the archipelago's voice from jeepney jams to jet-set stages. So next time frustration hits and you blurt Anobayan to your screen, lean in, because now it might just grin back Akorin pare, Tara, Ayusin Natin too. And who knows, your own taglish tale could be the next viral verse in this unstoppable symphony of smarts and spirit.